got over that mark and Anne, but actually I thought that was hysterical. Ragtime sort of thing, so you can sort of stand your feet or do bath do's in it or something if you're bored. Um, right, it's just called Prime Lurch. This is, the, this is the song that my mother, when she heard the last verse, thought was incredibly rude. I think she's got a very sort of obscure mind, but it probably is rude. But um, there's very little words I can get to rhyme other than make it sort of rhyme that meant something else if you think about it the other way. <laughs> That's all set your minds work in the right way, thank God. <laughs> all right. Hey there.
on holding on to me and let me feel so free. Life is only now, every lonely hour can be. Past away behind us, let us live eternally. Sing and be happy, come along and sit with me. Oh, let's go see a cartoon film and laugh all the time. Jump on a jumping bean and walk straight down the line. Lick on a lollipop, you made me feel so young. Catch the look that's in my eyes, oh, life has just begun. Oh, come and join the pleasures that are hidden in my mind. Dance and weave around my thoughts and help me to unwind. Settle on the unused parts that make me smile and laugh. Come and hold my hand and say, oh, let's not talk of love. Walk through the corridors and sweep away the dust. Take off our clothes and say, oh, let's just talk of lust. This is what we really mean by the primal urge. Before the coffin lid goes on, oh, let the blood just surge. on the bed. 
which is no more lies for her, no more ties for her, pick up the pieces and start again, time for her, but there's no one there to hold her when she cries. Song by Judy Whitfield. What? You should give it to me, I haven't got my glasses. Hello. Capri, WPW934H. <laughs> Oh, she's a separated lady, and she tries to play it cool. She says regrets are non-existent, so she'll look no more is fool. No more lies for her, no more ties for her. Pick up the pieces and start again, time for her. But there's no one there. Um, 
very popular, well, quite popular. And her recent record, I'm going to plug another record of hers because it's quite amazing, um, is a record um, that is a live album, it's a double album. I can't remember it's what it's called, do you know? Live at Carnegie Hall. Live at Carnegie Hall. Alright, so you've got it. Um, but it's an absolutely incredible record. And if you ever want to spend sort of two hours completely electrified by somebody singing and the, the whole bit, all the presence is there, it's quite incredible. Do buy it because she's, she's a lovely lady. Anyway, this is her song. It's called Lemon Haired Ladies. Um, it's sort of very emotional, powerful song about an older woman who goes, her marriage has gone wrong, but she goes out with a young boy and decides that. He can go out with all the pretty young girls around, as well as her, as long as she doesn't know. But as the song progresses, she realises she can't accept that philosophy, and she seems to go through all the <coughs> all the the spheres of emotions through the song. Anyway, in the head, ladies. Back, 
come back, go away. What in hell can I do? I'm supposed to be wise. All I am older than you, older than you. You were so self-centered, the games that you as you please, well you will anyway, of course you will see them, no use to pretend, for they are younger than I, younger than I, those lemon head ladies.
that with David sitting down. And we usually have this sort of, it's a very difficult song to time when you're coming in. And um, I usually just sort of tell by the way he's breathing and from that distance down, it's a bit disorientated. You know it's like when you can't tell what they're doing because you can't hear their breathing. Um, this is, <laughs> I made that up myself just now. <laughs> Um, then we can, what's the next one? You can choose. Um, our village? Our chosen. Right. Um, this is a song called Our Village. Um, and it's got a bit for you to join in with. It's about a village in West Thurrock, which is in, no, about a village in Essex called West Thurrock. Um, a very pretty little village. I'm sure, I'm sure most of you, I can't get the S's and SH's together tonight. No, maybe I want to do Bonnie. But um, yes. I'm sure you've heard about this before, but in case you haven't, it's a little village that used to have a church with it and a great big gap of a cornfield between the church and the village. And then some enlightened young man, I think they called him an, an architect, came along and filled in the cornfields with factories. And it's really the songs about an old man who remembers the village the way it used to be. The first verse is the same as the last two verses, and that's where you join in. The words are, have you walked around our village, seen the changes everywhere? The factor is the daily creeping on the haunts of fox and hare. What was that? But you did, just then. Was your brain hurt? <laughs> right. <laughs> now I just sort of caught him out the corner of my eye going like that. I won't do it again. Have you walked around our village, seen the changes everywhere? Factor is a daily creeping on the haunts of fox and hare. Have you seen the old men's faces lined with paling eyes of blue, staring out across the landscape, seeing more? Marrying the bloke 
he just gave her a ring which seemed to satisfy all the urges that she had or whatever it was anyway you'll get it as the song goes on the the chorus is really an essential part of the song otherwise it all falls flat so we'll sing it first when david's finished doing whatever he's doing um and then you can join in
about a man with a purple aura, and um, he sees everything in relationship to himself, as most people do. So he sees it in relationship to colours. Um, when he looks at life, he sees purple and yellow, because the two colours sort of clash. And he thinks that life today isn't very nice, and he sort of clashes with it. When he looks at his child, he sees purple and red, because he thinks of all the things that the child's got to face and struggle through in order to grow up. Um, but he's been a lucky person. He's remembered what it was like when he was a child, when everybody was just a bright person, and he didn't have any preconceived ideas about life or people. And so he's a very happy person. He's a purple and blue man. It's all a bit involved, but you'll understand as the song goes on, I hope. The chorus bit, there's two verses in the chorus and a verse in the chorus, and it really belongs to his childhood. The words are, for he remembers the purple and bright days, the simple, the sweet, and the laugh when you like days. Lend me a gun, and I'll be an Indian. Kiss me goodnight, and switch out the light days. Yes.
I'm sure loads of you have heard this one. Do it before. Last night, actually, I forgot it, which is really quite awful, and I've, I've got the, the conny wobbles about it, if you'll understand that expression. Um, I'm sure I'm going to forget it again, but anyway, it's called Alice White, and it's about a, um, a lady who preferred to go off with a big butch navvies than to stay with the pigs on the farm. I don't mean chauvinistic pigs, I mean little ones, you know. Oh, you Actually, I found Dave's plectrum in the bath tonight. I don't quite know what it was doing there, but obviously he hasn't got it, it's still in the bath. <laughs> Surprising one plays with him in the bath. <laughs> Time passed. 
Oh 